I'm going to create a new Aurelia project to demonstrate how to create an Aurelia component. I'm going to choose the language as TypeScript and for the other options I'm going to hit enter so I can choose the default. And after the project is created I'm going to go into the project folder and then we can um, we can start it. Uh, but for now I'm going to open up another tab and then I'm going to open up the project in Visual Studio Code just to edit the project and add the view model class. Okay, so once it's opened up, I'm going to go and create a plain TypeScript class called to do. And then I'm going to create a class definition. It'll have two properties a done property which is a boolean and a description property which is going to be a string is that simple in Aurelia generally a an UA component can have two parts a view and a view model a view is going to be an HTML file and a view model will be either a JavaScript or a TypeScript class and it is not required that you have to have both view and view model in this case, we are only going to be defining a view model and we're going to leverage that from our application component. From the application component, I'm going to import the to-do component. Import to-do from the same folder. I'm going to use dot slash to-do. You don't need to give the extension. Aurelia will automatically resolve that. I no longer need this message property. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a header property, call it heading, and I'm going to call it to-dos. Okay, and then I'll define an array of to-dos. And I'll initialize that with two values. And then I'm going to create another one. Now let's see how we can render this in our template or the view. So in the header, I'm, I'm going to just display the heading using the string interpolation syntax. And then I'm going to declare an unordered list using Emmet. Emmet is um, a popular convention. Um, many editors support that. If you use this kind of annotation and if you tab out, it'll automatically expand into HTML. I'm going to use Aurelia's as repeat.for and I'm going to call T of to-dos. That is going to enumerate the to-dos array. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a checkbox for my done property. And I will bind the checked property using Aurelius binding syntax to the um, t.done. So what it means is it, it is a two-way binding, which means that when you make some changes in the UI, it'll update the view model. Similarly, when you make some changes in the view model, it'll also update the user interface. So by default, um, checkboxes um, are two-way bound. And you can change that using one-way, one-time, um, two-way explicitly as well. Those are other bindings available. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a span that is going to just use the, um, the string interpolation syntax to render the description it's going to be dollar t dot description okay so that is good enough so let's go into our browser and see if it has uh, before we do that we'll, we'll have to run the application so let's go into uh, the command line and then we'll start running using the au run dash dash watch and then we'll launch HTTP localhost 9001. We'll wait for this um, AU command to transpile TypeScript and also bundle them and start serving at port 9001. Okay, so it finished the right bundles task and it's available now. So let's hit as you can see, it rendered the uh, checkbox with the value of false, which means unchecked, and then it um, displayed the uh, description as well. So I'm going to check this and check this as well. So that 
shows how we can create a view model only component. So what we can do is now we can go back and change one of the values in the array and see if that reflects in the UI. So I'm going to go and change this to true. Then save it and we'll come back. It should refresh automatically. And as you can see, it has it checked.